Hello. I've watched Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides movie, and uh, my review is the pros. I enjoyed the Queen Anne's Revenge and the sword controlling it. Uh, that storyline and aspect of it was interesting, and one critic wrote that absolutely everything had been done in the first three movies. The skeletons in the first movie were replaced by zombies, Davy Jones replaced by Blackbeard, and the Flying Dutchman replaced by the Queen Anne's Revenge. And lastly, the music was even the same. A lot of people gave the overall storyline a bad rating because they think it all had been done before. I disagree. Blackbeard, Voodoo, the Fountain of Youth, and even the twist on the Spaniards there to destroy the abomination that is the Fountain of Youth because only God can give life, that was really interesting. The five second blurb after the credits and the Voodoo Doll of Jack was interesting as well. I, of course, enjoyed the banter between Mr. Gibbs and Sparrow. Got a chuckle out of the fact that Angelica, who's played by Cruz, was impersonating Jack Sparrow because he was the only pirate she could impersonate because he basically walks like a girl. Not a compliment. <laughs> I also laughed and enjoyed the words of Jack Sparrow when he said he might have had a... a stirring? A stirring? Feelings? <laughs> The cons, uh, there's no closure to where the clerk and the mermaid love went after swimming deep down into the lagoon. At the beginning of the movie, they mentioned that mermaids make love to you, procreate, and then take you to the bottom to feed on you. They swam to the bottom after she says, I can help you, and he's saying something about being forgiven. They kissed, and then she pulls him under and took him deep to the bottom, and after that, nothing more said or seen about them. One could speculate she ate him. <laughs> Lastly, the roles of uh, Lee Ehrenberg and Pintle and Mackenzie Crook as Rigetti were sorely missed. A lot made a big gripe and deal about not having William Turner played by Bloom and Elizabeth Swan played by Knightley. And uh, in my book, these two pirates are more of a big deal to me than either of those two romantics. Overall, my rating of this movie is good. What's your rating about the movie?